In this video series for SEN and SENELEC members, we discuss bridging the gap between standardization and research. Welcome to video 2. Allow me to introduce Horizon 2020. This is the European Commission's main mechanism for funding research and innovation projects. It integrates all stages of innovation. The program has been provided with an 80 billion euro budget for the period 2014 to 2020 and is aimed at the whole European innovation community. Horizon 2020 has a strong focus on market uptake of new solutions. This is why the standardization community is encouraged to play its part. There are three main pillars. Excellent science focuses on basic research. Industrial leadership is about developing new technologies. And societal challenges promotes the application of these technologies to solve real-world problems. Think of health, food, energy, transport, society or security challenges. Industrial leadership and societal challenges are where standardization can be especially useful. Can we, the standards bodies, participate? Yes. Being involved in Horizon 2020 projects is a great opportunity for any standards body. Projects are usually developed by consortia and funded by the Horizon 2020 program. Starting new standardization fields, interacting with research communities and increased participation of researchers in TCs are just a few of the benefits. OK, but does the program say anything specifically about standardization? Well, many calls explicitly address standardization. It adds value to proposals and may even improve a proposal's chances of being selected. Involving a standards body in a research project can ensure that standardization issues will be handled correctly. Because of this, more and more researchers are turning to standards bodies. The European Commission tells researchers to get in touch with the SENSENELEC Research Help Desk for information about standardization. So, how can my standards body participate in a Horizon 2020 project? Let me give you a quick guide. Either you're contacted by a research consortium or you identify one yourself. They'll provide information about the project, including the role they expect for standardization. Based on this, you as a standardizer can determine how best to be of service. If the proposal is selected for funding, the project can then start. Remember that the same principles can also be applied to other European or national funding programs. I see. So what could our involvement be? Obviously, developing a standard is a possibility. However, you might find that the research project is better served with a report analysing existing standards and related activities, a conference with stakeholders envisaging potential new standards, or a standardisation strategy. Have other standards bodies already done this sort of thing? Yes, there are many good examples. You can read a number of good success stories on the SEN Senelec Research and Innovation homepage. OK, I'm off. I'm going to create my own success story. Great. Make sure that you read the advice for SEN Senelec members' brochure. Also, visit the European Commission's participant portal. This is the online repository for information about Horizon 2020. And once you've started, this will be the entry point to help you administer the project electronically. Join me in the next video to learn about setting your strategy and getting organised.